welcome to the video. Picking up where we left off last time with this thrilling Call of Duty narrative with Soap and Ghost on the run from Shadow Company. Soap has been shot in the shoulder and Ghost is holed up somewhere in the town. The objective of the mission is to evade hostile forces, link up with Ghost, and rendezvous with friendly forces at an undisclosed location. To get the mission started, Soap attempts to establish radio communications with his only ally, Ghost. Right as we're about to give up on Ghost, we hear his all too familiar voice over the net. Upon hearing his voice, we gain the motivation to stand up, similar to how a fat kid is motivated to finish that family sized bag of Doritos. If you are that fat kid, then don't worry, all groups of people can get the smoke around here. Back to the story at hand, Soap and Ghost decide on a place to meet up. The task is clear, avoid Shadow Company by lurking in the darkness and find Ghost. Although the task is simple, what complicates things is the amount of Graves' men that are occupying the town and the sheer level of lethality they possess. If I were to take a shot every time I died during this mission, I would have thrown up from alcohol poisoning faster than a bulimic after Thanksgiving. Does that even make sense? Uh, let's see, fat joke, skinny joke, what's next? Black joke. Quick side note, this is my third stealth mission in the campaign so far and it definitely kills the intensity of the narrative. I'm just about to lose hope in this mission, but I happen to stumble on a door. Behind the door is a man. On the man is a crafting item. I ask the man if he needs this item. I take his unresponsiveness, his consent, much like 95% of males. Call of Duty doubles down on the mission variety by also becoming a survival semi-horror. I do a little bit of vandalizing to create my first crafted item, one of many. I get my first door unlocked, but at the cost of my fan blade pry bar. Getting pretty annoyed at this point, I try to take my frustration out on a nearby enemy, which only causes me even more frustration. Shadow Company was generous enough to give this guy a cheap home renovation. And then I find a headlamp that has the same usefulness as an Asian that can't do math. This dog literally scares the hell out of me. I sneak by these three knuckleheads in a way that would make Batman proud. Boy, get over there, get over there. This being my next big milestone of the mission, I'm actually pretty proud of myself at this point. And as the old saying goes, behind every closed door is a learning opportunity. Oh the lesson here is that some things are just better enjoyed coming in from the back. Thanks to Ghost, I can add my first weapon to my inventory in the form of a knife. For a second, I almost leave the shotgun because I don't want this mission to get too easy. I almost put a hole in this guy bigger than Lana Rhodes after a DP with Lex and Johnny. But I decide not to and I get rewarded with some sweet, sweet drugs to heal me up. Soon after getting all patched up, I break my way into a safe after I remember that October is the 10th month, not the 8th. Inside the safe are two more weapons to add to my growing arsenal. I use my new Desert Eagle to take the fight to Shadow Company. However, my success is pretty short-lived. I try several different approaches to the progressive mission, but all of them end up with soap bleeding out on the ground. <laughs> this part feels a lot like that movie Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's a good movie. I managed to get to a checkpoint right before the next big part of the mission. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't get that checkpoint, to be honest. And after jumping into a sewer tunnel, I start to kill Shadow Company soldiers like I am Scared. fucking Rambo. Seriously, these takedowns were pretty brutal. It was almost like Soap felt my frustration and he was taking it out on them for me. Got him. Unfortunately though, for me, after every easy part, is a hard part. This segment of the mission took a good 30 minutes out of my life that I will never be able to get back. I don't blame the game though, I blame the squishy gray matter between my ears because I kept trying to do the dumbest things. I could have been mistaken as Joe Biden the way I was fumbling around trying to figure out how to get through this. Literally nothing was working. Running around wasn't working, trying to wait inside behind cover wasn't working. I even tried setting some traps like that kid from Home Alone it, that ended up just hurting me. I was ready to give up. I had died more times than I can count, my thumbs were getting tired. But, out of nowhere, I found the power of Rambo inside me again. 
and I started to lay waste to the shadow company soldiers. I would take one down, then I would stalk my next victim, and then take down the next, and then locate the next victim, and take him down as well. Oops, that was actually a page from the Jeffrey Dahmer movie script. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. I killed all of my enemies, and I made it out alive, eventually. I think the game actually decided to take some pity on me. Just like how the football team lets Special Johnny score the winning touchdown. If I'm going to hell for saying that, then you're coming with me for laughing. After linking up with ghosts, we kill some more baddies as we escape. We find a getaway vehicle and jump in. Thus, we reach the end of this boring ass mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike and say something mean in the comments. Be sure to look out for the next video where we bust out our friend Alejandro out of prison.